Hi everyone, uh, Damien Patworth here from Globatel. Um, I've just got the lovely Soraya with me at the moment. Hi Soraya. Hey Damo. So Soraya, you're from? From Sacred Sound Hilly, Australia. Um, based down here in the Byron Shire. Excellent. Um, now I've invited Soraya to come and do a presentation for us at our, um, at our event on Friday the 7th of June on mental health in business and business ownership. And one of the reasons why I've invited her to come along is I've experienced her um, sound baths, sound meditations or sound healings, people call them different things. Um, and my PA hey, in the background, Molly Joel. Hey. How do I go when I come back from one of the sound baths? It's totally then out. So release all my stress. <laughs> much, much happier. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Uh, I basically, I really wanted um, everyone in business to experience it. I've, I've had a lot of value out of it. So, um, so I'm so glad that you've said that you can come along and, and do a bit of a, a sound bath for everyone um, at our event. Um, for the invitation. Pleasure. Obviously, the event's about mental health and business, and you run a, um, a small business yourself, a proprietorship in um, allied health and wellness. Um, what's your experience been in building this business as far as mental health and you know, managing a mind is concerned? Yeah, so I've been running my business for nine years now and, you know, it's definitely been a big journey for me personally. It's interesting because my focus on my business is really to support people in their own mental health journeys um, with whether that be with stress levels, anxiety or whatever is going on for them approaching that from various modalities. But that doesn't mean to say that I haven't had my own experiences um, myself with, with stress levels. I, um, I have experienced, you know, times in my business, you know, when you're running your own business, especially when starting up and you don't have as much um, funds to hire other people for support. You know, there are times where you're doing 18 hour days, seven days a week, and there were, yeah. I actually, I went to burnout. I had my own, um, yeah, adrenal fatigue and from high stress levels and just pushing myself too much. And I think that my experience with that journey was really learning to practice what I preach, like really being able to bring in the tools that I'm teaching others, which is mindfulness, which is coming back to self-care and being able to, um, you know, take those moments in the day of being really present with something, whether that, that be a meditation practice or, you know, a exercise practice in the middle of the day, just to be able to, to break the, um, yeah, break the routine and yeah, calm the mind. And so, yeah, it's been a big journey and, you know, my passion now is, is being able to offer that to others and guide others on that journey themselves. Awesome. So obviously um, sound has become a big part of what you do there and, uh, doing you know meditation using sound and um, which is what what we're going to be doing on Friday the 7th um how does that work tell us a little bit about that yeah so sound has been a huge part of my journey it's something that I grew up with I spent a lot of time living in India as a child and my mum was a yoga practitioner so using sound for meditation was part of my conditioning um so I've really experienced the benefits massively in my life um and then, you know, just witnessing how powerful it is uh, for those that have never experienced meditation before, because in our modern world, we're so used to listening to music because it gives us something to focus on. And so I find that when people experience a sound bath or a sound meditation, there is something to guide their focus. Um, and then it actually, you know, it can help reduce the cortisol levels, which um, create the stress in the body or reduce an anxiety or affecting the adrenals or depression because it guides us into a theta brainwave state, which is usually that state where our body is in such deep rest that we get to refill up our cup and nourish ourselves again. Um, so I've seen such 
potent, powerful results um, with clients over the years, whether that be with one-on-one sessions or group sessions. And I really see that this is a, you know, huge way forward for a meditation practice for, for people in business. Great. Um, do you have a, obviously we're going to do the, the crystal singing bowls on, at the event. Have a quick demo for us. Yes, yeah, so there's um, you know various different meditation tools that are used in the sound healing, and this one is a crystal singing bowl, so made from clear quartz, which the first one was found in a pyramid in Egypt. Um, so each one creates a different sound, a different frequency, a different vibration. So I'll just show you. Now, when you've done this with me, one thing that I really notice is that I don't feel like I'm hearing it through my ears like I do normal sound. It feels like I'm hearing it in my head going out for the strength of the vibration. So really, really cool. Um, let's, let's wrap it up there. But just before we do, what else have you got going on as far as the sound business? So we run lots of events um, at different places throughout Australia and, you know, offer private sessions and also um, offer sessions at business conferences and in corporate environments um, and also, also facilitator training. So people are interested in learning to be able to run these themselves in, in their businesses. Awesome. Well, I'll see you Friday next week. I really look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Please try. Right.